Hi there, and welcome back to another Bob Blast. I'm Bob Burridge, and this one is all about more of a response to uh, our last Bob Blast, where I talked about gold paint and all the different uh, manufacturers and, and the powders. It was just great. And the response was fantastic. So uh, thank you uh, again for responding. Then that brought up the other question. What about those fluorescents that you use all the time? And I know so many artists are afraid of use it because we've been told to be aware of it. It's supposed to be dangerous and it fades and just doesn't really work that well. That was a long time ago. I just wanted to let everybody know technology has changed on our side. And so I do use an awful lot of fluorescent, those luminous colors. This is the one from Holbein, but everybody makes it. This is the one I trust. But let me show you how I use it. <laughs> All right, so I like to use it for, put it into where it's just, maybe just shock value, or let's see all the different kinds of glowing kinds of things that I can do with. And that's one of the things I like about the Luminous. But the thing is, what makes it more stable, and it will not fade, is when I mix it into the Holbein acrylic paints. At least that's what the technicians have told me. If you mix it in together, it just increases its chance of longevity. Hey, it works, it's working. The other way I like to use it is putting it all over the entire surface of a canvas and work it again, the same thing along with the acrylics and with little pops of, here's happens to be that luminous opera. You know how I love that stuff. And it just kind of gives it a whole lot of Genevieve or something like that. You know, I'm throwing it into these just outrageous colors just for the pure fun of it. I mean, there's so much Circus Vegas kinds of colors anyway. And that's how I kind of got into it. But then I've started to learn to really love it. And when I mix it together, let me show you how it works for me. So these are the luminous colors that I use. It happens to be a set, the Holbein set, called a luminous set. <laughs> I love the colors. And I wanted to let you know that how I use them, you know, they're just so great, right? So my favorite is the Luminous Opera. It's that hot pink, everybody said. And they, oh no, it's not going to fade, everybody. Uh, I just want to let you know. Uh, if you use it in the proper way, if I use it raw, I, I still put a UV varnish on top of everything I use. So that squelches that problem right there. So I use it in everything. And I'm gonna show you how I use it. Okay, here we go. Now, this is the Luminous Opera. Comes in the tubes. Nice, huh? Comes in these little beautiful squirt bottles of the fluid Luminous Opera. Isn't that cool? So they also come in those fluid inks, right? And they also come more enthusiastically from my larger paintings in these tubs. Look at that. Oh boy. It, does that ever get exciting? Okay, now for this little fun thing we're gonna do, let me just show you. So this, I use it intermixing it with other colors. This is my white. This white happens to be gesso. I just wanna show you, I don't know if I'm gonna have a chance to do an entire painting here. I'm gonna get a big dollop of this luminous, look at that color. See, it's the same consistency, too, when it's in the tube, all right? And, oh boy, marigold. Now, this now we're talking about some of the other colors I like to use. This is the Holbein marigold. It's kind of like an Indian yellow. I want to show you what happens to that color when I put it into this color. And again, just for more dramatic effect, I want to show you when you mix this luminous opera in with this deep, rich, ultramarine deep blue. Ah, oh, man, wait do you see what happens there. All right, so I've got all these paintings here all stacked up that I just knew I wanted to work a little bit more on them. You know, and, but I think the best way to really show you what I'm about to do is to do a demo in a really kind of an outrageous way. Here's my tape. This is the tape. I use it to make sure it stays there. All right, big wide brush, this will be cool. Now, first of all, please know that this 
opera, it's translucent, which means I can put color everywhere. Look at that. And I haven't lost. Jeez. Absolutely crazy, isn't it? You also can wipe some of it away. Get it right back. The original yellow. It's starting to glow. Anyway, this is how I like to use it. Then I mix it up. And you know, this is uh, one of the nice things about working with these paints, and they're very professional, is that they dry with the same intensity as when they were wet. I'm gonna continue working on this one just since I have your attention here. <laughs> so watch what happens, you know, it's, it's fine, but I wanted to see what else happens. I wanna make the background darker, and by doing that, it will make this pineapple brighter. Right, okay, so I'm gonna do that with the blue. This is the ultramarine blue. Oh, it's so rich. But I'm gonna take a dab of the opera in here, and this is when it turns into that most beautiful color you all seem to love so much, <laughs> that periwinkle color. Whoa. All right. You could buy periwinkle. It's much more fun <laughs> to mix it. Here we go. Wow. More of a neutral background, isn't it? Man. Let's add some more white to it. See what happens over here. Whoa. That's crazy. Anyway, you can see it. The paint becomes so brilliant because I've mixed the fluorescence in with the other paints too. And as a painter, you're gonna have a great time playing this way. It's just kind of, just not that ordinary, is it? <laughs> I'm gonna go darker, even darker. Makes it even richer. See how it looks like it's glowing? I, I increase that glow factor by making the dark part even darker. You see me doing it right here, you see? Kind of like a sort of a halo. Not really, okay? So we have this dark against light, dark against light over here. I think I might put some color in that shadow. Oh yeah, there we go. So, fluorescence. One more thing I wanna show you. Let's try this one. Let's try this one. I'm going to, now this, this is a marigold. This is the marigold. Not part of that set. But it still has that wonderful transparent. Say goodbye to this one. This is one of those things I like to take some of the paintings that just haven't worked yet for me and spend a day doing a whole bunch of this kind of stuff. And these are all transparent, so I won't lose the image. But it just needed a, it just needed some harumph somewhere. Here we go. Already, I'm gonna come in now with some hot pink. Oh, jeez. Now I'm gonna simplify the background by adding a whole lot of white gesso. Oh yeah. Oh, that's it. Paint. See, now I'm mixing everything together. The fluorescence, luminous colors, and with the other colors. So this will be the background. More of a neutral tone. Still using that large brush. More water. It's across here. By neutralizing some of the other colors, that's what I'm doing right now, it makes the <laughs> crazy, look at the fluorescent colors just popping like crazy here. Well, anyway, I love painting this way. So we have busy areas and quiet areas and outrageously <laughs> bright areas. And it's done for pure fun for me. 
I mean, I have to laugh every once in a while in the studio, so why not make yourself the joke? Hey, have a great time. Play more. It'll be a fantastic, colorful year if you do. Hey, again, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next Bob Blast. Hi, I'm Bob Burridge, here to invite you to enter your work, your paintings, into our second international virtual jury show. How about that? We, had, we just had one called Petting Zoo. Very successful, lots of prizes. We were pretty excited about it by the responses and your results that we decided to do another one. And this one, is the theme is called Table Settings. Think of the possibilities, table setting. It could be table for two. It could be dishes and plates and wine glasses. It could be a banquet. It could be a table for one. You decide, how do I do a painting and the title will be table setting to your imagination. We take abstracts, realistic, all of them. It's your best effort. And let me tell you, you're good enough to enter into this show. We have an international juror Again, a different one. Her name is Karen Vernon. I love this lady. She's a great teacher and a great painter. Uh, and so she's well qualified to pick out the best. So you send in your best for table setting. The prospectus is following this information. And go to my website. You'll see the whole thing. I can't wait to see your work. Take care. And this is Bob Burridge. Hi there, I'm Bob Burridge, and this is all about Date Night with Bob. We just got finished doing one. See the paintings behind me? This is a two hour, kind of a Zoom painting workshop is what it is. And we were painting for two hours. You can either do it along with me or you can sit back and have a, an adult beverage and watch at the same time. This is called a fun thing we're gonna be doing. We've done them already, so it's called Date Night with Bob. And don't you want to do that on a, whatever nights we have? Check out the schedule. It's right behind me. And we're going to be painting like crazy. I'll see you on Date Night with Bob.